Welcome to Electro Online, and now we're going to start from the very beginning a new astronomy series of videos. So, if we were to ask the question, what makes up the universe, what would you say? What do you think it is? What do you think the answer is to that question? Well, most people, when they think about the universe, they first will think about, hey, the planet Earth and its companion planets, Venus, Mercury, Mars, and then the big gas planets, and oh, we can't forget about the sun, and then there's other stars like the sun, and so right away they begin to think in terms of, yes, we have the sun, we have the planets, the four terrestrial planets, the four gas planets, so we have a solar system, and then they realize, well, our sun is just one of many stars perhaps out there, and so they think about a large accumulation of stars, and then they realize, well, stars, they make up galaxies, and every galaxy is made up of billions and billions of stars, and yes, there's billions of galaxies out there. So that's typically how we think about the universe in terms of stars and galaxies and planets and moons and so forth. But really when it comes down to it, it's a more fundamental question because what are those things made out of? What are the planets made out of? What is the star the sun is made out of? What are all the other stars made out of? What are the galaxies made out of? And it, it, then it comes down to, well, they're made out of matter. What kind of matter? Well, it turns out that most of the visible matter in the universe, most of the matter that we can see, that we can see through a telescope, that we can detect through telescopes, most of that matter is hydrogen and helium. Most of the stars make up, or most of the matter in the universe is made up of stars, and those stars are mostly made up of hydrogen and helium. So what we can really say is that the vast majority of what we see out there in the universe is actually hydrogen and helium. It is probably a good estimate that about 99% of all the visible matter in the universe, and yes, I did say visible matter, make a special point of that, because it turns out there's also what we would call invisible matter, something we call dark matter, and it seems like there's a lot more dark or invisible matter than there's visible matter, but that's for a later chapter. We'll get to that when we get to the farther end of the course. But initially, from a what we can see kind of perspective, almost all of the matter out there is either hydrogen or helium, which is very strange because we live, by the, by the way, we live on the Earth and the Earth is made up of rock and metal and so forth. So it's kind of strange to think that the vast majority of the matter out in the universe is made up of hydrogen and helium. And then there's another aspect of the universe that we don't really think about too much, but a lot of the universe is also made up of pure energy. For example, light and x-rays and gamma rays and ultraviolet radiation and radio waves. Well, that energy flowing through the universe at the speed of light is also a component of what the universe is made out of. So not only is the universe made out of matter, which is primarily hydrogen and helium, it's also made up of electromagnetic radiation, ENM as we call it, such as visible light and infrared and ultraviolet and x-rays and gamma rays and so forth. Well, how do we really talk about the universe being made of elements, uh, hydrogen and helium, and electromagnetic radiation? Well, Einstein was able to think about those two things as being two different aspects of really the very same thing. He came up with the equation that E is equal to mc squared, E being energy, m being mass, and c being the speed of light. And what that equation really means is what that energy and matter are really two different forms of the very same thing. Matter of fact, we have now f found out that energy can be turned into matter and matter can be turned into energy, something that happens in the universe on a regular basis. And so therefore, when you think about the universe and what it's made up, it's really made up of a lot of visible matter, which is primarily hydrogen and helium, and electromagnetic radiation. Matter of fact, if you think about all of the available energy and matter in the universe, a large percentage is actually energy as opposed to matter. And we'll talk more about that in later chapters. So, if someone now comes up to you and says, what is the universe made out of? You say, well, it's primarily made up of matter, which is mostly hydrogen and helium, and energy in the form of electromagnetic radiation. And yes, most of that matter tends to clump together into galaxies, into stars, and into planets. But when it really comes down to it, the universe is just a large accumulation of hydrogen and helium interspersed with a whole lot of energy. Wow, that's a different way of looking at the universe. So, 
what is this matter? When we think about matter, how should we think about it? Because ultimately, understanding the universe is understanding the various components of the universe. So if you're interested in this, stay tuned, take a look at the other videos, and we'll learn all about what makes up the universe.